Hey guys, I'm John. Today we're here at the Mishimoto Garage to install the Mishimoto BMW E36 Aluminum Expansion Tank. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive content. Now is also a great time to upgrade your E36 with the Mishimoto Performance Aluminum Radiator or the Mishimoto Performance Fan Shroud. And because we're going to be draining some of the coolant on this E36, we recommend picking up some Mishimoto's Liquid Chill full synthetic engine coolant. Let's get started on the install. Tools needed for install include 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, small and large flathead screwdrivers, an adjustable wrench, a funnel, and Mishimoto's Liquid Chill full synthetic engine coolant. Install time is about one hour, and install difficulty is a two out of five. Remove the cap from the stock expansion tank to release pressure before draining some coolant. Using a large flathead screwdriver, loosen the drain bung on the radiator. Here we are showing you the stock radiator setup. If you have purchased the Mishimoto radiator, you will need a 19 mm wrench to loosen the drain plug. Then, using a flathead screwdriver, remove the coolant bleeder screw from the top of the expansion tank. Remove the stock expansion tank cap seal using a flathead screwdriver. This is a very delicate process. Slightly wiggle the tabs with a flathead screwdriver and pry up. Once it is pried up, use your fingers and pull it out. Next, use your flathead screwdriver to loosen the worm gear clamp connecting the expansion tank and the overflow hose. Locate the worm gear clamp through the hole you just opened up after removing the expansion tank cap seal. Disconnect the stock coolant level sensor. Now we're ready to remove the expansion tank from the stock fan shroud. After removing the stock coolant level sensor, rotate the expansion tank towards the passenger side wheel well to expose the hose going into the bottom of the expansion tank. Then, using a flathead screwdriver, remove the lower hose from the expansion tank. Now you can fully remove the expansion tank. Using an adjustable wrench, remove the coolant level mechanism from the stock expansion tank. Install the coolant level mechanism into the new Mishimoto expansion tank. Use your adjustable wrench to tighten it in place. Be careful not to over tighten this when tightening the coolant level housing. Be sure that the prongs are pointed the same way as stock as shown here. Now would be a great time to consider purchasing and installing the Mishimoto Performance Fan Shroud Kit to replace your stock fan shroud. This product pairs nicely with the Mishimoto expansion tank as well as incorporates all new mounting hardware to replace the stock plastic pieces used to attach the expansion tank. Now we're ready to install the Mishimoto expansion tank into your BMW E36. First, let's start with the lower hose. Using the worm gear clamp you removed earlier, tighten the lower hose onto the Mishimoto expansion tank using a flathead screwdriver. Loosen the stock fan shroud on the passenger side. We are using a 10 mm ratchet wrench since we have the Mishimoto radiator installed. If you have the stock setup, you will be removing pop clips with a flathead screwdriver. We are loosening the fan shroud so you can wiggle the expansion tank into place. Insert the expansion tank tab into the cap seal area as shown here. You will most likely not be reusing the expansion tank cap seal. Go ahead and attach the overflow hose to the port on the expansion tank. Using a flathead screwdriver, tighten the worm gear clamp connecting the expansion tank and the overflow hose. Tighten the bolt holding the fan shroud to the radiator. We are using a 10 mm ratchet wrench since we have the Mishimoto radiator installed. If you have the stock set up, you will be reinstalling the pop clip you removed earlier. Then, reconnect the stock coolant level sensor. You'll know it's in place when you hear it click. Now that you've installed your Mishimoto E36 aluminum expansion tank, double check to make sure that all your connections are tight and bleed and fill your cooling system. For this, we're using Mishimoto's Liquid Chill full synthetic engine coolant. The CNC dipstick also doubles as a bleeder valve and a cold coolant line indicator. Also, don't forget to click subscribe and like us on Facebook. Mm -hmm. 